fishing rods. You walk into your local store and you see hundreds of rods all along the rack and you might think that you need a bunch of these different rods to catch fish. Today I'm going to show you whether you are a beginner or an advanced fisherman, the essential fishing rod combo you need for catching fish and honestly the only one I would keep if you said I could only have one rod for the rest of my life. We will walk through what that combo is, what it can do, and go out on the water and put it to the test catching some fish on multiple different techniques. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So don't get me wrong, there are definitely advantages to having multiple fishing rods. That's why bass fishermen and other types of fishermen carry different rods with them. It's so that you can have multiple baits rigged up at the same time so you don't have to spend more time retying on the water or even different techniques. Some can be very specialized, like you could have a specific glide bait rod that literally just throws big glide baits but doesn't really do anything else. However, there are definitely advantages to only having one rod as well. And ultimately this single rod that I'm about to show you can do so many different techniques as opposed to those specialty rods that you'll be able to catch fish no matter where you go just because you have this setup with you. So whether you're a beginner or a very advanced fisherman, this is definitely one you should have in your arsenal, if not multiple. So we are gonna go through two of them today. They are identical, except for a couple of the components on the rod, depending on the budget you're gonna spend. Everything will be linked in the description below to check all this out as we go through it. So if you want to pick up any of these pieces of gear and help support the channel, you can do that down below and I would be very appreciative of that. But what we are going to talk about first is the advantages of only having one rod. First off, you have less to carry. I used to go creek fishing all the time when I was a kid or pond fishing. You don't wanna carry three or four rods with you because then every time you wanna move, you gotta pick up all your gear, you gotta move down the bank, you gotta set it all down again. If you have one rod, I can cast my bait, and then if I'm not catching fish in that hole in the creek, I just walk down the creek. And then if I see a fish while I'm walking, I can literally just fire my bait right back in there because I have my backpack on that I'm bank fishing with, and I got my single rod. And we're gonna talk about that in some bank fishing videos coming up, but that's a super efficient way to do some bank fishing. The other two advantages are it is cheaper. If you're on a budget, you only have to buy one setup. I'd rather spend the money on one a little bit higher end setup, and higher end to me is like a hundred dollars for a rod a hundred or two hundred dollars for a reel that's about it like that range there between two and four hundred dollars for a combo is going to get you the top of the line equipment you do not need to spend any more than that it's going to last you a lifetime as long as you take care of it and it's going to perform every time you're on the water you're going to get the sensitivity you need and everything like that i would rather spend that two to four hundred dollars on a single rod than spending two to $400 on like three or four combos that are on the Walmart shelf or something like that because you're not gonna get the same quality and it's not gonna perform the same. And then the other thing is ultimately just simplifying your bait selection. You're much less willing to change baits and like overthink everything of are the bass eating this color? Are they eating this bait? Does it matter if they have this size weight on there? You are much less likely to do that and just go out and fish and put your bait where the fish are and you're going to ultimately catch more fish in the long run because you're not overthinking and overcomplicating fishing. Sometimes as anglers, we overcomplicate everything and think the bass are gonna bite it if it has a chartreuse tail versus not a chartreuse tail, all that kind of stuff. Most of the time, it's just a matter of if your bait is actually in the right spot. So now let's quickly run through what this setup is, what the gear is on it, and then we're gonna go out on the water and we're gonna fish numerous different techniques with this single setup and see how many fish we can catch. I couldn't think of a better way to put it to the test than try to go see how versatile it can be and how many different techniques we can fish on it throughout the day. The other huge announcement on this is I've been working with Cashin for the past two years and you guys have supported me so much in purchasing rods that I was able to go to Cashin and get you guys a discount code. So if you guys are gonna be in the market, this is going to be a test run. They usually do not run sales because they're American made rods, but I was willing to convince them to give me a discount code to see if you guys are willing to purchase rods based off a discount code. It will help me out as well in being able to achieve some of my dreams and be able to keep making videos like this. So if you guys are in the market for a rod over the next two months, this is gonna run till the end of November from today. If you're in the market for a rod, I would greatly appreciate it if you could use my code. It'll be linked in the description below and on the video right here. But every cash and rod will be 
10% off. You can get any rod you want 10% off on the website. Anything on the website, just use my code. It will help me out a ton and you guys save some money along the way when they usually don't run sales. The first rod we're gonna talk about here is going to be my more budget-friendly option. This is going to, they're both gonna have the same reel. So this is a Shimano Sedona. I love this reel. It's like $79.99, I think. They're pretty affordable. You don't have to spend a ton on a reel. It has a great drag system. This is the 2500 size. I feel like I can do pretty much everything with that. I can fish all different types of species. I've caught trout on this combo. I've caught catfish, I've caught carp, I've caught walleye. You can even catch pike on this. Like you can basically do whatever you want. I mostly bass fish, so 2500 size is perfect for me. I, I've even fished this in the ocean and caught snook and stuff with it. So you can do the same, you can do a ton of stuff with this rod. I put 15 pound test lime green braid on here. It's gonna have about four pound test diameter. So the lime green braid helps me see the bait on the water, the line on the water, so I can know what my bait's doing and understand what's going on. And it also has a ton of sensitivity to be able to catch those fish. And then I tie an FG knot on here or an Alberto knot to a liter of fluorocarbon. So I'll put on like 10 foot. This is eight pound test fluorocarbon. The reason I do that is it allows me to alter my size of liter and still run the same main line. So I've fished for snook and redfish with this combo and I've put 20 pound, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader on the end and I'm able to catch those bigger fish in the ocean. Or I put eight pound on here and I can fish for bass and walleye in fresh water, never have to change my line. It saves me a ton of money that way. So braid, and the Sedona, that's gonna cost you about $100 for the braid and the Sedona right there. And then I have the Cash and Core spinning rod here. Both rods here are going to be the seven foot medium power fast action. That is like the most bread and butter fishing rod that you can have. That's gonna be the rod that we're gonna put on here. So this is the Cash and Core. This one is a little bit more affordable than the one we're gonna talk about right here. Uh, this one's gonna run about 150-ish, 180 range. I don't remember off the top of my head. But with the 10% off, you're gonna save somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks on a rod like this. So if you wanted to check that out, you can save another 15, 20 bucks off this combo. And all in, you're around that $250 price point. If you wanted to jump up in price a little bit, this rod is the exact same all the way throughout. So I have my lime green braid, I have my 2500 Shimano Sedona, and then I have the Icon spinning rod, and this is the Ned Rig rod, seven foot, fast, medium. That is the same rod, it's just in the Icon series, it's a little bit more sensitive, it has a little bit more ergonomic grip, it's more comfortable to hold and fish with throughout the day. This one's gonna run you about $200, $220, so you're gonna save 20, 22 bucks off on this one as well, and at the end of the day, you're gonna be in that 300-ish, 320 price range on a combo like this. So both of these rods, one's gonna run you about mid 200s, one's gonna run you low 300s, depending upon what you want. They're both gonna perform excellent. They do have the Element Series as well. I have not fished the Spinning Element Series, but I have used the Frog Rod. I have that up there and it's performed excellent as well. That one is around the 120 price range. So you could go 10% off on that one as well and put you down in the 100 range and you'd be $200 all in for a combo. So 200 for the Element, 250 for the Core, and about 300 for the Icon all in for that setup with a Shimano reel, a super smooth drag, you will catch a ton of fish with that setup right there. If I was just getting into fishing and I had the budget to spend, that would be one of the setups I would pick. And that is ultimately what we're gonna go put to the test on the water. So let's get out there. Let's do some testing with some different techniques and catch us some fish. Okay, so now that we talked about what the essential spinning rod setup is for all bass fishermen or fishermen in general to have, let's go ahead and put them to the test and see if we can catch us a couple of fish. The two that I have here are the ones we talked about. So I have the core and the icon so we can show both of them in action. A Little bit lower price point and then a higher price point rod here to be able to fish both. Both have the Shimano Sedona we talked about, and we're gonna be fishing a couple different techniques. So we're gonna start, we'll come back to this one in a little bit, but we're gonna start with the Old Faithful, Mr. Wacky Rig here. Everybody knows you can fish a Wacky Rig on a spinning rod, and everybody knows the Wacky Rig catches like a bazillion fish. So we're gonna start there just cause most likely we'll catch a couple with it and can show you the spinning rod in action. Um, got hung on a little log right there, that wasn't a fish, but Let's get to fishing this thing and see if we can catch us a couple bass on the old wacky rig. That one chased it off the log on top of the water. 
Got him. That was cool. It's a nice fish. But I'll hand land this one so I don't break them off. There we go. Nice one for the spinning rod. You can catch big and small fish with this thing. I love the spinning rod probably more than anything else, especially living in the Northeast. That's a very, very nice fish there. We're gonna weigh him real fast, but you can see I caught him out of that stick. I was able to yank him out of there, no problem. He literally chased it off the stick the first time, missed it, I threw it back in there, he came over and ate it. I was able to reel him out of there, no problem. Had the backbone to fight that fish out and get him out of the cover, so not a bad one. We'll see if we can catch a couple more. There's one. This might be a big one. It's a decent fish. There's so much bait around over here. He wanted all the wacky rig. That's another good, oh, he came off right there. I had him barely hooked. Oh well, we got him close enough. That counts, quick release. Okay, so now we're on to setup number two here with the spinning rods. We're gonna be using the cash and core this time. A little bit more affordable rod here. And then this time we're gonna be going with a Texas rig. So this bait right here, the bait, the weight, everything. This setup is like one of the first lures I ever bass fished with. And I fished it on a spinning rod just like this. I would walk around my local ponds with a little four inch ringworm on an eighth ounce weight. I wouldn't even peg it. I used lead back then instead of tungsten, but I had a little weight and a little hook and a little four inch worm and I'd just walk around and catch 12 inch bass. Hopefully we'll catch something bigger than 12 inches today, but we're gonna go ahead and drag this bait around on the bottom and see if we can get any to bite the ringworm. So you can still Texas rig a bait. I have an extra wide gap hook on there. I can still Texas rig a bait and drag it on the bottom and set the hook on these fish and land them, even with this medium power rod. So it's a great rod for pretty much everything. Hopefully we'll find us a few that are willing to eat the worm today. And all we're gonna do is just drag this guy around and see what we can catch. Just like I used to do when I was a kid. I would throw this thing out there like that at anything that looked like it could hold a bass and I would just slow drag it on the bottom. There's one. Got that one. Get out of there. Get out of there. Is this a big one? It's a decent fish. Not bad. A little ringworm fish. Bigger than the ones I used to catch when I was a kid at the ponds, but that's a nice fish. Handled perfectly on the spinning rod. We'll throw him back. We'll see if we can catch us another one. They've been biting so good today. We're gonna take advantage of it. Got him. Come on, fish. Are you big? Do we have a big one? Do we have a big one? Yes. Uh, he's not that big. Big enough though. Oh my gosh, he absolutely choked on that worm. Look at that thing. He wanted that one. Oh. That one's a little bit bigger than the ones I used to catch as a kid too. Just by a little bit. Still handled it just fine on the spinning rod though. Okay, so we all know that you can catch fish on a wacky rig, a drop shot, a Texas rig even on a spinning rod, but we're gonna give you a bonus bait since the fish are cooperating so well today. And we're gonna throw a hard bait. This is a great rod. You gotta have a spinning rod in your arsenal and you can even throw hard baits with it. You can throw little jerk baits with it, which we aren't gonna do today be based on the water conditions, but you can also throw a popper. This is one of the first top waters I ever threw, first hard baits I ever threw, and I would fish it on a spinning rod. Back then I used monofilament as opposed to fluorocarbon or braid. We're gonna be using braid today. Same 15 pound test that I run on my main line. And then what I would do, but I don't have one in the boat, is take a Sharpie and color up like six foot of the line so they can't see it as well. The water is pretty dirty today, so I don't think they're gonna care that there's a little bit of color on the braid. I think we're gonna be able to get one on a top water with the spinning rod as well. We'll be able to catch them on a wacky rig, a top water, and a Texas rig. Top, middle, bottom, everything was done on a spinning rod throughout the day. Oh, got that one. It's a big one. 
It's like a real big one. Ugh. On the popper. I'm gonna try for one more. We're gonna see if we can get one more on the popper because that was a very weak blow up. He barely even bit that. But that's a nice one. On a spinning rod with popper, hard baits, soft baits, does it all. Let's catch another one. Got that one. He crushed that thing right off the surface. That was awesome. He's just a baby. He's the smallest one so far, but that's okay. We caught them on hard baits, Texas rig, wacky rig, all with one spinning combo. So I hope today opened up your eyes to the fact that a spinning rod can be very versatile. I know a lot of people are against it, especially in bass fishing, but it is one that every angler should have. And if you wanna see the rod that I would supplement with this, if you have the budget for a second one or wanna to add to your collection, check this video out right here. Those two together will do 95% of the fishing techniques you will ever need in bass fishing. Not the biggest one we caught today, but it's the last one we catch today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you on the next one. Hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.